as the saying goes, expect the best, but prepare for the worst. So even if you have a solid plan, stuff happens. So be ready for it. Backup plans are always a good idea, especially when it comes to business. If a network goes down, business productivity comes to a halt. Therefore, it's considered a best practice to save a backup configuration for every device. This way, if your network starts having problems, you can use that backup. This saves you the time of performing a factory reset in configuring the device from scratch. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to backup and update configuration files for your Cisco business switch. To start, log into the switch by entering the username and password. Click Login. Navigate to Administration, File Management, and then File Operations. As you can see on this page, there are three operation types to select so you can update a file, backup a file, or duplicate a file. Select Duplicate. These three options will automatically appear on the screen. Running Configuration which is the file currently running on the switch. Startup configuration, which is the file the switch uses to start up after reboot. And finally, mirror configuration, which is a copy of the startup configuration file that's made when the switch has been operating continuously for 24 hours without any changes to the running configuration file. When you select the source file to duplicate, you'll then see what the options are. This is called the destination file name. As you can see here, if running configuration is checked as a source file, the only option for the destination file is startup configuration. If you select startup configuration as the source file, then the only option is running configuration. However, if you select mirror configuration, both running and startup configuration files are available to be the output. For this example, I'm going to select the option to duplicate the running configuration file as startup configuration, and then click Apply at the top of the screen. When the operation is done, there should be a success notification at the top of the screen, as well as two syslog notification messages that show what I did and that it was done successfully. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Now I'll show you how to backup a file on your switch. The backup file operation gives you options to select which file you can save as a backup and then copy to another device. The source file types that can be backed up are running configuration, startup configuration, mirror configuration, logging file, and dashboard info file. For this example, I'll choose startup configuration as the source file I want to back up. Next, you need to choose the copy method. Right now, you can see I'm in basic mode. Use the dropdown to change it to advanced, and you can see all available copy methods, HTTP slash HTTPS, a USB drive, an internal flash, TFTP, which means Trivial File Transfer Protocol, or SCP, File Transfer via SSH, which means Secure Copy Protocol. I'll use the HTTP or HTTPS option and then choose how to handle any sensitive data in the file. Click Exclude, and no sensitive data will be included in the backup. If Encrypt is selected, the sensitive data in the file is included, but encrypted to keep it safe. If I choose plain text, the backup copy will contain all the sensitive data in the backup, but only as plain text. I'll select plain text and then click Apply. As you can see, the downloaded file is now showing up on the screen as a text file with the name startup-config.txt. And again, I get the notification that the process was a success, along with syslog notification pop-ups, as you can see here. All I have to do now is go to my downloads folder to get this file and use it to restore the switch configuration. Lastly, I'll show you how to update files. Click Update File. Notice that there are three destination file types to choose from. For this example, I'm going to update the startup configuration file that I just backed up and downloaded earlier. I can choose any of the methods available here to copy, but today 
I'll use the HTTP slash HTTPS method to keep it simple. If I choose other options, then I'll need to configure additional parameters. After selecting the file to be updated, I now need to go to the location of that file. To find it, browse for the file by clicking Browse next to file name. Navigate to the Downloads folder, select the file I previously downloaded, and click Open, and then finally, Apply. When it's done, you'll see that success note at the top of the screen. And again, the syslog notifications on the bottom right, which tells you that it was successful. Notice the red blinking save icon at the top of the screen? This is pointing out that there was a change to the configuration file and it needs to be saved. It's like it's waving at me and saying, hey there, don't forget to save the changes you just made. So click on that save icon. And again, you see the success and syslog notifications to let me know everything worked fine. Now that the startup configuration file has been replaced, you need to reboot the switch to finish the process. Navigate to the reboot option in the administration panel and click the reboot button. To confirm you want to reboot, click the OK button and the switch will begin to reboot. It takes some time to reboot, but eventually the login page will show up. Go ahead and log in again. Navigate to Status and Statistics and open the System Summary page. When you look at System Uptime, you should see that it's only been up for a few minutes, which means the reboot was successful and has just been turned on. See that flashing red save icon again at the top of the page? Go ahead and click on it again to save the newly updated configuration file, and you'll see the success and syslog notifications. That's how simple it is to make a backup configuration file and then update it on the Cisco Business Switch as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.